Fru here welcome to today's video so guys today's video is gonna be very very exciting and it's gonna talk about this website that I came across just googling around the web it's called teachable machine I believe it's from Google so it says uh, teachable uh, machine with Google and as I dug a little bit deeper it was so fascinating I thought I'll make this video to share so what this website does is it allows you to leverage your computer uh, to train your machine so your, your computer basically to recognize your own images your sounds and poses and behind the scenes is definitely leveraging some very sophisticated uh, artificial intelligence as you guys know I'm a huge fan of AI I believe that AI is gonna transform uh, a lot of things going into the future especially when we talk about technology tips career advice and inspiration so guys uh, the link will be in the description below I'll encourage you guys to go check out that link but in this video what I'm gonna do is I brought a couple of things with me uh, I have my cell phone here I have uh, uh, one of my mouse for a computer I do have uh, a mug for coffee that I drink my coffee in the morning and I also have my notebook which I always keep by me so what we want to see here in this video is can I train uh, this computer uh, to leverage uh, the AI or whatever is going behind the scenes to recognize any of this for me uh, once I bring it on the screen. It's supposed to be very straightforward guys. I can tell you if you're gonna do this by yourself and writing all the code it could be very 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 uh, difficult task to do but apparently AI uh, using uh, TensorFlow uh, JS which is all happening within the browser can do that for us. So we're gonna dive in and do this live to see if we can make this work. The very first thing that I'm gonna do here is to click on get started so I, I believe there's a get started all right so what we want to do is image project audio project uh, post project I played with it with using the audio project uh, speaking in a different language and seeing if you can detect uh, the language I used and I can tell you it worked it worked but for today since I have a lot of props with me we're gonna be doing the image project so let's go ahead and select the image project all right so the image project is selected now the way it works is you can tell the classes of what you're trying to uh, classify and then use it to train your model so I'm just gonna walk you through uh, what it does so the very first class here that I want to classify would be uh, coffee mug I believe I spelled that correctly all right and it says uh, do you want to upload the image or do you want to use your webcam I'm gonna use my webcam right on this camera the quality might not be very clear so bear with me based on the lighting but I'm gonna use a webcam in this camera so we have a coffee mug so this will be for the coffee mug uh, we have uh, my cell phone so I'm gonna use uh, put in cell phone in here for that class I'm gonna add two more classes uh, now I want the one for the mouse all right so let's go ahead and do the one for the mouse and let's do one more and I want a notebook all right so that's gonna be for the notebook that I have all right so we have the classes now we need to train the model with examples uh, so it can know what the coffee mark is all right so we're gonna do webcam if I had pictures of the coffee mark I could upload those but here I'm going to do webcam and I hope this works let me just adjust this a little bit um, and I have my coffee mark here so let's click on webcam it should say allow usually I don't do that all right and I believe my webcam is on okay so let's uh, let's see all right so I'm gonna bring my coffee mug on and it's going to say hold to record all right and I'm gonna use different positions all right I'm gonna record as many okay all right let's do at least 20 all right so we've recorded the examples for uh, the coffee mug and we've done 22 uh, images so let's go ahead and do the cell phone so i'm gonna go ahead and bring my cell phone here all right uh let's go down to cell phone camera all right so let's record the cell phone okay let me try to see if i can take it from different angles the more the better the more angles you have guys usually the better all right when it comes to machine learning let me take my hand out so you can actually get that entire picture all right let me put this down all right i've gotten a lot lots and lots of examples now let's do 
uh, the mouse. Alright, so let's go down to the mouse. We're going to click on that. I'm going to hold to record. Oh, I believe you can actually hold it. I didn't realize it. Alright, so that's way more pictures. I didn't realize you can actually hold. Now, let's do last but not least, which would be uh, the book. Alright, so we're going to go to the notebook. So you can actually click and hold to record many. Alright. Okay, so we've gotten way more pictures. Now that we can do that, let's actually go back here and record a couple of more for the cell phone just so we have way more for the cell phone. I didn't realize you can actually hold to record the cell phone. So let's do that. Alright, and then let's do the coffee mug again. So we have a lot more samples. When it comes to machine learning, one of the things that's very important is that you have enough uh, training data set. So let's uh, hold this one and get different angles of the coffee mark all right so we've gotten quite a bit of examples now uh, what we're gonna do here guys is go ahead and actually train the model right if you think about a uh, machine learning or AI what you need is your sample data set uh, and then you can go ahead and train the model I didn't quite check what we have in here so there's some configurations in advance but let's go with the basics so let's train the model all right this is exciting so it's gonna go ahead and train this model for us apparently there's something happening behind the scenes um, uh, and the, the, the training and I need to read a little bit more on what this is actually doing what teachable machine is doing my understanding is it's training all of this on the client side so none of my data is actually moving back to just servers that's what I believe but I'm gonna do a little bit more digging into this to see if that's actually the case and it shouldn't take too long I think maybe three to five minutes for the training but if it's too long I'm gonna pause this video and come right after the training is done and I'll definitely tell you guys how long it took to train all right guys welcome back the training is complete and now we have a model we're ready to test but before we dive into actually testing the model and the predictions I want to call out a few things uh, the first training that I did actually crashed as you can see my screen is a little bit different now before I was trying to train uh, the coffee mug and I was trying to train my cell phone and the mouse as well as uh, my notebook to see if those should be recognized by this model unfortunately uh, it crashed the very first time I did it and I think part of the reason was I have a lot of classes four classes in total and for each of them I had recorded over a hundred images for each of these classes so I think there's something there that causes this to crash right and that's running on my client side so maybe my browser is taking too much resources and it crashed what I did after that was I reduced it to still four classes but instead of a hundred plus images I used just about 10 images each and it still crashed it still crashed on me and then finally I reduced it to just two classes where we're looking at the coffee mug and we're looking at my cell phone uh, and that finally was successful with just six images each. so not a lot of images so that was just fascinating and it took about you know when I finally reduced everything it took about uh, maybe six minutes or so for the training to be complete so that was just one observation if you're gonna be uh, testing this out alright now so the training is complete but we want to test it I still have my face going on on the camera here let's go ahead and test it there's a little bit of a lag between what you're seeing and I think what my uh, camera here is showing so let's start with uh, the cell phone why not all right so here you can see the prediction is kind of kind of shaky off and on so I'm gonna pick up my cell phone and I'm gonna bring it to the screen uh, so let's see what happens maybe I should bring this down a little bit all right and so there 100% 99% it sees a cell phone all right and this is live this is all happening within my browser all right so let's go ahead and keep that aside and let's pick up the coffee mug and see if we'll pick that up all right so i'm gonna bring that again down a little bit does it see this as a coffee mug there you go guys who <laughs> i saw a hundred percent there you go 96 percent 98 percent all right let's try something different like this does it pick it up does this pick it up not quite not quite i think because i didn't use enough images to train so i just had it in this position so it kind of picks that up very well let's see that this is all happening live i didn't train it with my book 
so let's go ahead and test the book in here to see uh, what it what it can see so yeah it, it kind of sees it more like a cell phone because I think the black color all right let's play with this and see what really happens all right I like doing things like this all right so it still sees a cell phone with an increased percentage all right so that's good I did not train the mouse all right I finally took that out so what does this see now it really sees nothing it kind of sees a cell phone uh, if I turn the mouse inside the back side it should kind of see a cell phone I would imagine yep 72 percent all right and if I bring this in now what do we see we see a cell phone all right guys so there you have it I thought this was a very uh, kind of a nifty uh, interesting uh, tool here where you're doing uh, uh, machine learning on the client side and this is all apparently happening in my browser and none of my data is going back to Google so uh, what these folks are saying is you can actually export this model and if you go ahead and export this model uh, it gives you the tensorflow JS and now you can use this in your JavaScript uh, files to build web applications uh, for the front end all right and so I thought this was just very uh, very interesting and then there is a the p5.js as well that's available for you to use so this is all the code uh, that you can then use to embed this within your application so imagine you're trying to build an application that would do object recognition guys you don't need to do a lot of heavy lifting you can simply leverage this train your model and then just copy the code include that in your JavaScript applications millions of people already know how to write JavaScript code and they can simply leverage this and start building very robust JavaScript, uh, JavaScript uh, applications or, or, or applications in general all right guys I thought this was very interesting just a uh, nifty tool coming from Google all right and while we're at this I just want to give um, also call out I hope you can check this out I'm gonna leave a link in the description below uh, I also want to call out uh, really AI uh, this is also leveraging artificial intelligence huge huge fan of artificial intelligence on this channel so guys uh, once you're watching this video if you're watching it on YouTube uh, maybe you're watching it with a Chrome browser I'll highly encourage you to check out this uh, extension as well uh, you can simply install it on your Chrome browser and once you have it uh, if you like watching videos like me on YouTube if you like learning uh, on, on concepts whether it's AI or it's quantum mechanics or whatever it is you're watching and learning on YouTube if you're within the Chrome browser and you have this extension installed you can use this extension to bookmark very interesting specific areas of your videos that resonate let me stop the noise of the videos that resonate and you can give a title that way once you come back to it you can play the specific areas so if I come back here I can say well I want to play quantum superposition and now I can see quantum superposition uh, within this video so like a bookmark for all the videos that you watch on YouTube that way if you're watching a video you're never ever gonna forget something from that video but yes where it gets interesting because you might be saying where is the AI piece of this alright guys so now what we can do when watching this video is actually to analyze it using AI so if I click on this button what it's gonna do is gonna bring up an interface for me to actually analyze this video and now we're using some very sophisticated AI behind the scenes so if you go through the payment and you take care of that it's just a, a minimum fee for the hosting and all of that uh, what it does is it can pull out and I'm not gonna do this for this video it can pull out all the insights the faces keywords labels emotions brands timeline all of those within the videos and it's gonna give that to you at your fingertip that way guys just imagine coming to a video and instead of spending uh, what is this video 52 minutes to watch this video you can have all the insights you can see where every person was talking about uh, within that video right at your fingertips guys that's the power of AI and that's why something like this gets me really excited I hope it gets you as excited uh, as I am all right and if you like the extension guys please do share it share it with somebody students youtubers gamers politicians whoever that's watching videos on YouTube like the way you're watching let them have their hands on this extension it's very exciting very powerful I just really really like it and again guys going back to uh, teachable machine I'm gonna leave a link below if you want to play with it this might maybe spark some ideas if you want to build some applications uh, a very fascinating uh, tool that you can use all right guys thanks for watching thanks for joining me today this has been through and I will see you in our next video